One of the things you probably don't appreciate the most is our jaws, the lower bony structure that forms the framework of our mouth. Every vertebrate has their own set of jaws, but how do they come to be? Well, today, we're gonna be talking about the evolution and history of this simple structure. But before we do, we need to go way back in history. Back before the dinosaurs, even before animals walked on land, we need to go back to the Cambrian period. During this time period, giant arthropods ruled the sea. For the few vertebrates that lived in the ocean, the mouth was more of a hole that food flowed into. The only thing that closed it was a fleshy, muscle-like lip. Strangely enough, early forms of teeth formed around the mouth before the jaw. It was effective for a time, and it lasted about 90 million years, until one brave fish decided to make a change. To be a more effective hunter, Metaspringa had to create the first gill arches of any fish. These these help the organism get more oxygen outside of the water. A popular theory among scientists is that the jaw is just a modified gill arch. Their theory is that the two closest gill arches slowly began to form the jaw, which then led to the evolution of placoderms, which were heavily armored fish. They came in a variety of shapes and sizes, but the one that had the earliest form of the modern jawbone was from Entelanacthus. The organism bridged the gap between two major fish groups, the bony fish and the non-bony fish. The jaw is connected to the skull with several muscles, and when the muscles are tightened, the lower jaw raises up to form a powerful bite. For fish, having a jaw made it easier to rip apart food, but they were also not as powerful as land animals. Later in the evolution of fish, they developed a new form of the jaw that extended outward, creating a vacuum to suck up prey. On land, the jaws of vertebrates are more powerful because of the muscles that support the structure. The jaw is considered the strongest bone in the facial skeleton, and of course, without teeth, the jaw would become useless for grinding up food. Teeth come in a variety of types, like incisors and canines. For a human jaw, one bite could produce 125 kilograms of force. Paul Erich is one of the many scientists that have been studying jaws, more specifically, the human jaw. In his research, he has shown that the human jaws are actually getting smaller. If that gets you interested, wait until you hear the strange myriad of organisms with their own jaws. Many creatures have evolved specialized jaws that have many uses. For crocodiles, their upper and lower jaws have special sensors around the mouth. These are used to detect vibrations in the water to locate prey. Not to mention, the power is off the charts. Unlike other animals, its mouth has a second jaw point that spreads out the force of the bite, producing about 3,700 pounds per square inch. These creatures have existed for millions of years and have changed very little. I mean, why fix what isn't broken? Going back into the ocean, the moray eel hunts in the cracks of rocks. Not having a specialized jaw like most fish, the eel instead has a second set of jaws in the throat called the pharyngeal jaws. Once the eel bites down on its prey, the second set of jaws pull the prey down into the throat. This evolutionary set of jaws helps the eel swallow food without the threat of it still being alive. However, other fish also have their own form of pharyngeal jaws. For example, the sheephead has pointed teeth in the front, but in the back of the mouth in the pharyngeal jaws, its teeth are flat for crushing up hard-shelled organisms. In Japan, snail-eating snakes have been in the trees looking for food. When they find the perfect target, the snake unleashes its secret weapon, a movable lower jaw that can hook out the snail out of the shell. Its jaw is especially evolved to grab the snails out of left coiled shells. Over time, snails have evolved a countermeasure to form right coiled shells. The evolutionary arms race still goes on. One of the strangest jaws has got to come from the giant anteater. These animals are called endentates, which is a fancy word of saying they don't have any teeth. Although not fused together, the jaw is slender and can barely move, but it doesn't need it because this jaw holds a secret weapon, a two foot long tongue used to lick up hundreds of termites. There are plenty of powerful bone crushing jaws or slender dainty mouths. Either way, this evolutionary part of the body is definitely a breakthrough. After careful consideration, I've decided to give this bone a score of a 2018 Golden Saxe Award. Congratulations, most people don't even get this score. All right, everybody, good night.